play classical music deeply. Denon SC R88Z 59,800 yen times 2. A successor to the SC R88, it is the heaviest in the 598 class. The actual weight was 34.8 kilograms, 1.1 kilograms more than the old 88. The baffle is 30 millimeters thick, the rest including the back plate is 20 millimeters thick, but porous ceramics porcelain block with air bubbles is pasted on the top plate. At the same time, the top edges of the front, left, and right panels are also fixed. This ceramic was wedge-shaped a shape with a single-sided roof turned upside down in the old 88, but the Z has a tapered front and back the gable roof is turned upside down. Also, cut the woofer punching board in half and cut off the bottom end horizontally as well. It connects the bottom plate and back plate, and stands in the center of the bottom plate. It has a unique structure in which a bolt passes through the gap between these two pieces. The sound absorbing material has increased considerably from the old 88, using felt and ester wool, and the ceramics are also covered with felt. The woofer is attached from the front and connected to the center of the back plate and the back plate with a long bolt. This method was previously experimented with Victor and commercialized with Trio now Kenwood, so it is not a particularly unusual method. The aim is to integrate the front and rear baffles, firmly fixing the woofer, and powerfully pushing out the base. If you do it poorly, there is a risk that the vibrations from the back plate will be transmitted to the woofer. Since it is not removable, my guess is that it is equivalent to the old 88's woofer 4650G, magnet 5145X 17mm when looking through the tweeter mounting hole. The squawker body has a small iron plate frame and weighs 950G, and the magnet is 585X 15mm. The large back cavity of the ceramic pot is firmly fixed to the baffle. The squawker body is installed in the same way as the old 88, by placing it on the baffle and determining its position, then pressing the edge with an aluminum die-cast flange washer. The flange was 220G and 4 screws on the old 88, but it has been strengthened to 300G and 8 screws on the Z. The tweeter is a die-cast frame with a thickness of 8.5mm and weighs 780G, and the magnet is 580x 15mm. The baffle is installed with a 5mm counterbore, and the hole for the magnet is 20mm counterbore, leaving a 5mm gap to serve as a shield to prevent back pressure. The network has three coils, two electrolytic capacitors, three film capacitors, and a large electrolytic capacitor suspended on the board behind the terminal. There may also be one film capacitor in the woofer terminal, and there may be others, but this is the only one I could see. The impedance characteristics are well controlled in the form of a three-way base reflex, and the F characteristics are uneven at 1M and at the listening position, but the range is wide. It has strong bass and wasabi-like treble, but overall the squawker character is dominant. It's spacious, thick, and a little dark but it doesn't produce an exciting sound, making it an adult sound suitable for playing deep classical music. Evaluated for outstanding bass energy and texture. Installing porous ceramics inside the enclosure suppresses the generation of standing waves. Adopts a super base mount method that tightens bolts from the rear baffle side to secure the woofer unit. Honestly, I'm not really interested in these things, such as the fact that it's heavy at 34.5 kilograms. Of course, it probably contributes to the sound quality, but in any case, the result is the expressiveness of the sound. As a minor change to the previous SCR88, the sound tends to be significantly shaped up, and the clarity has also been enhanced. First of all, I would like to praise this speaker for its low-frequency reproducibility. 
Denon's high-end SCR99 speaker has an overwhelming low range, and the energy and quality of the bass is outstanding. It is characterized by its solid structure, instantaneous power, and powerful low-frequency energy. Therefore, even when set low, it is less likely to become booming and provides a sharp, three-dimensional, and energetic feel. Classical CD recordings, even chamber music, contain a considerable amount of bass. Without this feeling, it is difficult to obtain a sense of urgency in the overall sound, and the realism is completely different. The neutral, high-resolution expressiveness backed by the pure texture from the mid-range to the high range will also be a highlight. The development into the high range is smooth and the band is wide. The sharpness of the sound image localization cannot be overlooked. It has a three-way configuration with a 32cm woofer, a 12cm squawker, and a 2.5cm tweeter. The best super bass mount structure that expresses the best digital ever. The SC-R88Z is a high-performance speaker system that fully expresses the increasingly high-quality digital sound mainly from CDs. The biggest feature is the super bass mount structure that fixes the woofer magnet from the rear of the enclosure. Accurate piston movement of the diaphragm has been achieved, dramatically increasing low-frequency clarity. Furthermore, advanced materials and ideas are utilized throughout, such as the new DAS structure that uses porous ceramics and the RMM structure. This well-structured enclosure features a 32 cm large diameter woofer that uses a new cross-carbon diaphragm. 12 cm squawker with cross-carbon diaphragm, newly developed ceramic-coated alpha boron tweeter, etc. Backing up the excellent characteristics of each speaker unit using carefully selected materials. It vividly expresses cutting-edge digital quality.